Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to a bright and sunny day. I for one cannot believe that it is April. I cannot believe that the Sephora spring sales event is here. Y'all know if you watch my channel, I oftentimes tell you the sale dates and get the sale dates wrong. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the flyer for the Sephora sale for the Sephora sale here. I am having trouble speaking today. You've been forewarned. We're having a multitude of issues here today, which I'm about to get into, but if you are looking to shop the Sephora sale, I'm gonna be sharing the products that I would recommend. So we're gonna be doing a full face makeup tutorial using all the Sephora sale products that you can get your hands on. I'm also gonna be showing you my empties, which consist of my most used Sephora items. These are products that I personally buy every time there is a sale and I use them on an everyday basis. And then I'm gonna be sharing the products that I don't think are worth your money. And also, last but not least, I'm gonna be sharing my wish list, which I thought I had a very conservative wish list, but joke is on me because I have been doing some research as to what I wanna buy this past week. And I have like 14 things currently in my basket on the Sephora app. So we're gonna get into it. Grab yourself a beverage. I am feeling very blue, not in a bad way, depends on the moment. I am just like in my blue era. I'm loving this top that I got from Rent the Runway. I painted my nails. This is OPI in Big Blutiful Pet. Big Blutiful Planet. I told you I can't speak. And then of course my matching little cup and my matching little evil eye. So she is just blued out and I got evil eye bracelets over here. I'm blue. If I were green, I would die. I didn't even say that correctly it's gonna be a doozy. Another malfunction that we are currently having today is that the dermatitis on my face is really acting up. I'm gonna throw a little screenshot of what my face looked like a mere 48 hours ago, and it was scary. She's looking better today, but you can still see I am a bit red. Guys, I got my eyes on the prize, and I'm in it for the long run, and I have a lot of trips coming up this month, and I do not want to live my Napa trip. I don't wanna relive my Napa trip, because last year when we went around this time, I couldn't put any makeup on for that trip because my skin was enraged. But thanks to one of my lovely subscribers, she gave me an at-home remedy of tea tree oil and jojoba oil. I've been putting it on my face for the last day and I just feel like if I leave the area alone, if I just keep putting that kind of mixture on, it's gonna be better. And I wanna feel and look my best for all of the trips that Mike and I have planned coming up this spring. I'm so excited. So while I am going, to be applying makeup, just know that my red stash will be here to stay. And you know what? It is what it is. We're not covering it up because we're doing it for the greater good. You know? If you know, you know. And I know that you know. I always do this. I always like put these clips in and they're not supposed to ruin your hair, but they always ruin my hair. Anybody else? I don't know. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, thank the Lord, because I don't know what she's doing. And I'm thinking about going darker, but I just don't know. I'm just, I want like, of something fresh, something different. For skincare, I did apply my Shiseido Ultimune Serum and I have an empty here because this is my favorite serum by far. It has a bunch of antioxidants in it. I noticed that my skin is brighter, is plumper. It's just such a good serum. And if you don't know me, hey, hi, welcome. I am going to be 33 years old in April this month. So exciting. So I'm 33, I have combination leaning way more so dry skin. And I think it's important to note that I live on the East Coast. So drier weather, but then gets humid. So in the winter, I'm very dry. In the summer, I'm still dry, but a little bit more oily. So that is my skin. If you have similar skin, I am not a dermatologist. I'm just telling you what I like. It's a very light layer. It absorbs into the skin quickly. It doesn't irritate my skin. It looks beautiful under makeup. So this is the serum that I applied today. This is the serum that I apply every day. I'm not leaving the home today. I know I'm sitting by a window and I could put SPF on and all that kind of stuff. But like I said, I'm not a dermatologist, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be using the Tatcha Water Cream. I really love this cream. However, I do have a dupe. That's not drugstore but you can get it on sale at the Sephora sale and it is half the price. So this is my new one. I just opened this and it was in my bathroom where I put my morning skincare on every day. I do want to show you that I have an empty here that I scraped to the bottom because this is a very pricey face lotion. This is like 60 something dollars. I'm just going to put some on my face where I don't have a raging rash. Water 
water-based cream. It goes on kind of like a gel. I do have dry skin. I do find this hydrating. I also have the kind of skin where if I put too many layers of something on my skin, especially under makeup, my skin gets really irritated. This has a really light scent. It's not too scented. It doesn't bother my skin. It looks beautiful under makeup. It absorbs into the skin quickly. And I find that it's good for all skin types, whether you're dry, you're oily, combo, you know, I am a makeup artist. And while I don't do other people's makeup right now by choice, you know, I just have a lot going on personally and I've kind of stepped away from that. But there was a time where I was doing people's makeup and I used this cream on everyone, no matter what age, no matter what skin type. It's just a beautiful, easy going, one size fits all moisturizer in my opinion. If there are any skincare products that you know you love, adore, and you use all the time, stock up. Now is the time, save some money. And you know, I'm not gonna ignore the fact that even things on sale during the Sephora sale, it's still really expensive. You know, like 20, like the, the products at Sephora, astronomical how much they cost, that even like 20% off, it's really not taking that much off at the end of the day. But again, if there are products that you know and adore and you love, you might as well stock up on them. This is a product that I do not think that you need. The Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have Sweet Candy. I've tried the original. I didn't go through it because I didn't really love it. And then I just like ignored that and thought like there must be something wrong with me because everyone and their mother loves this lip product, which it does a really nice job of plumping the lips and kind of pushing the fine lines out. I do like that, but Think of it this way. How I think of this is that it's a lip sleeping mask. It says sleeping in the title of it. And I don't find that when I apply this at night and then go to bed, I don't find that my lips are super plump in the morning. So for that reason, I do not recommend this. I am a Vaseline chicky. And every night when I go to bed, I slather my mouth with Vaseline. And that is what I use to help hydrate and keep my lips looking and feeling their best. I do bite my lips. It is a nervous habit. If you know, you know, I try to counteract it with Vaseline, not this. I almost forgot my dupe for the Tatcha water cream is this. I've said this before in a recent video, but Kiehl's Ultra Facial, it has that very thin gel-like consistency that Tatcha has. It has no scent to it. If you want to try the Tatcha, but it's out of your price range, or you know that you love the Tatcha water cream, this is half of the price. So give this a try. I actually think that I like this better. It looks really nice under makeup. Again, it doesn't have an SPF. So during the day, if you're going out, I would recommend putting a sunscreen on top of it because sunscreen is important. But again, I am no dermatologist. And again, I am not putting any sunscreen on today. So take it as you will. Just a friendly reminder, if there are skincare products that you love and adore, pick them up. I don't know if these are sold at Sephora. I think I got these at Ulta, but just any pimple patches. If you like a pimple patch, if they save your life, stock up on them, they are on sale. Just get the things that you use on a day-to-day -day basis that you otherwise wouldn't find on sale. You know, I'm not gonna lie, some companies have their own sales. So I know Kiehl's oftentimes, I love Kiehl's and there are a lot of Kiehl's products that I'm gonna mention in today's video, but they often do have a sale for 25% off. So as a rouge, I get 20% off because I spend all my money at Sephora. 25% is more than 20%. So just do your research. And oftentimes during the Sephora sale, other brands will have their own sale. I really like these. I'm not going to buy them during the sale though, because while I love them, I do notice such a difference. The Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Resist 24 Eye Cream. They're not eye creams. They're eye patches. My apologies. As much as I love them and adore them, I only use them for special occasions because if you know me, you know, I am late to every single event in my life to think that I'm gonna wake up, work out, decompress, and give myself enough time to put an eye patch on. I don't see, that's just not in my DNA, but these are really good. And I will say to you that they brighten your under eye instantly. And if you are someone with a lot of fine lines, this is good. Uli Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I've talked so much about this. I'm shocked that I even have so much, but a little goes a very long way. And if you are someone that has very sensitive skin, you don't need a lot of this. It doesn't irritate me. It doesn't really smell like anything either, but I just find that if you put cream, one, if you put cream like too close to your eye, it's gonna irritate you no matter whether the cream is irritating itself or not. You know, the skin around your eye is very delicate. And if you put too much, it will definitely cause your makeup, your concealer to move underneath, which no one wants that. I have the full size one, which is right here. I bought the travel size little guy one during the last Sephora sale for when Mike and I travel. So that will be coming with me when Mike and I go to Napa and Nashville and all the other fun places that we 
are going soon. I can't wait. I your girl, your girl needs a vacation. Rapid fire, really quick. Other skincare that I personally love and highly recommend. In the sense that I'm not an eye mask girly, I'm also not a big face mask girly because again, I don't give myself enough time. However, you know, I love the new face. I actually have my new face right here. I love the new face device. If you've been thinking about it, because I do talk about it all the time, you should buy it because you will get it on sale. 20% off isn't a lot when you're talking about like $50 makeup products, but it's a lot when you're talking about a two, $300 product. So to glide this across my face, because it is a microcurrent device and you need some kind of conductor, I use the Peter Thomas Roth face mask, which this is what it looks like when it's full. And then this is what it looks like when it's empty. So I've gone through like probably seven or eight of these. New Face does have their own serum. And I do think that the serum helps to make the microcurrent a bit stronger. But for me, I don't like to leave the serum on my face. It irritates my sensitive skin and I end up washing it off anyway. So it's kind of like washing money down the drain. Whereas this mask is the most hydrating mask I've ever used. So if you're just a girl that doesn't have a new face or a guy that doesn't have a new face and you want a very hydrating mask, I would highly, highly recommend this. I've recommended it so many times. You guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about it, but I do like it when I use it with the new face because I'll new face over the mask. I'll let it sit on my face for a good 10 minutes and then I wash it off. And then it's like, I'm starting from scratch and I didn't waste any product because the mask is meant to wash off. Does that make sense? I know, I know you know what I'm putting down. Speaking of big ticket items, I have my Dyson Airwrap down here. I love her. Mike bought her for me during a Sephora sale quite a few years ago for Christmas. So I love it. It has multiple attachments, regular like blow dryer head. I use this to blow dry my hair. I use this to curl my hair, to straighten my hair. It's just, it's amazing. This has been my go-to attachment recently. Lazy girl hack. I kind of just, it's like a straight hair blowout. It's so good. And it takes a lot less time than curling your hair with the Dyson. Do I think that you need the Dyson? Absolutely not. I don't. But if you are someone that has been thinking about it, now is the time to buy it. And that's why I want to mention it. And if you're someone that is paying to go get blowouts, girl, buy this because in the long run, you will save more money. I'm just lazy and I don't go get my hair done. And half the time I don't do my hair. But when I use this, I do really like it. I love this. I have another one in my, um, in my bathroom where I do my nighttime skincare routine. I've talked about this a lot. I hated it. Then I thought it was okay. Then I absolutely fell in love with it. I really love Kiel the Midnight Recovery Omega Rich Cloud Cream. It has a very weird texture. If you don't put it on a serum that is hydrating, then it kind of feels like it's pilling. It's just, it has a weird texture. I can't explain it, but it softens my skin. It softens my fine lines. It leaves my face looking fresh. I really do love it. And I keep buying it. I want to try something different. I did just open a new one. See this one? You could see it's like a light blue kind of color inside. It's very pretty. I can't explain to you the way that it goes on a pilly kind of, it's not like a smooth moisturizer. I wish you could feel it. I don't love the experience of applying it. So for that, you have been forewarned. I love Kiehl's I'm here for them. And I just, I feel like you can't go wrong with the Kiehl's moisturizer. It's great for sensitive skin. It's great for fine lines and all that kind of stuff. I've been talking for so long and I have no makeup on my face, which is probably a good thing because my skin is currently screaming, but I don't know why I choose to talk to you for so long when I have nothing on. I should have like reworked this, but it is what it is, I guess. So like I said, I'm gonna be a little conservative in the makeup application department, but you can find these products all over my YouTube channel if you do a quick search. So if you wanna see wear tests, I have them. Speaking of wear tests, I'm pretty sure I did a wear test for both of these foundations. These are my two favorites currently that you can find at Sephora. The Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. I am in the shade four neutral. I love this. This is what I'm most likely gonna be taking when Mike and I travel. I love that it is in a tube. It's not heavy. There is no glass. These both come in a tube, very lightweight. You could throw it in your bag if you're going to work. I don't know, for touch-ups to go. I like a lightweight plastic. I just, I, that's what I like. I love a glass, a glass is nice, but at the end of the day, I just find like something like this, it weighs like nothing, you know? As opposed to like glass like this, this is hefty. This can be medium to more full coverage, depending upon how many layers you add, depending on whether you use a brush or a sponge. You guys have seen me use this so many times. It's a thicker foundation. So what I do is I leave it on my hand like this, okay? I try to be conscious that it's there, otherwise I will get it everywhere. And I just 
fill in my brows, move on to something else. And then once this has sat on my hand for a little bit, I then pick it up with a brush. These are the hourglass brushes. I have a few of them that I definitely want to mention. This one is my favorite. I love this. I use this for concealer. I use this for foundation. I use this for cream contour. I use this with all of my cream products, but I would pick it up on the back of my hand, work it into the brush and then stipple this into my skin. And I just find that this foundation makes my skin look really juicy. If you want to share it out even more, I have added this in my face lotion so you can put it in with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial or mix it in with the Tatcha, water it down a little bit. The runnier a foundation is, the more forgiving it is in terms of texture and the lighter it goes on the skin. So that is just my trick on how I get this to work, but I love this. It's so good. There are some Charlotte things that I love and some Charlotte things that I don't love and I just, I love the Beautiful Skin Foundation. Speaking of things that I don't love, I don't love the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I don't think that you need this. If you're looking for juicy, dewy skin, I think that that can easily be achieved with a good skincare routine before you go to bed, in the morning when you wake up, and just the application of your makeup. I think it's a waste of money. I've had this for a really long time. The other day I was applying it and was like, what are all of these red things? Do you see the red like dots on my finger? Can you see that? I hate that everything like rubs off of this. I leave the house and I'm like, what is this shit all over me? Popping back to my say, this is the Slip Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 35 sunscreen. It gives a very light, kind of evenness to the skin. It doesn't really give any coverage, but the fact that it is luminous and it catches the light, it kind of just helps to trick the eye into not really seeing your imperfections as much, but it's really pretty. I do like it. It is a pigmented tint. It does add a little bit of coverage, but again, it kind of just helps to even out the skin tone. I love that it has SPF in it. I kind of just give myself one pump, rub it between my fingers and then rub it into my face. I like it because it kind of feels like another face cream that I'm using. It doesn't really feel like I'm wearing foundation. And if you follow along my channel, I oftentimes don't wear foundation because I just I would rather just use a little bit of concealer and some good skincare and a juicy kind of skin tint. I did a full day wear test on this. I'm not gonna apply it to my face just because we got a lot going on today. And again, I want to live my best life in Napa looking fabulous, feeling fabulous. So I will go ahead and link the wear test right here. In terms of concealers, I really like this one. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct in the shade One Neutral. And I also really love Dior's Backstage Concealer. I will put both of them down below, but I've been using the Backstage Concealer one so much recently that I wanted to mix it up and show you guys something different. Yeah, I love this brush. I forgot what it's called. I think it's a foundation brush, but my it blends everything out in literally 2.2, big enough to blend out foundation seamlessly, quickly, but it also has a really nice kind of like point where you can get in there and use it to cover up your under eyes. Like, look at that, it took two seconds. It's so good. Quality of hourglass brushes is just divine. Like, to die, I love them. Honestly, like, blend makeup out for you. It's that easy. <laughs> It's crazy. This is my favorite cream bronzer and her and I, we didn't get along, then we got along, then we didn't get along. And I just, I love her. I found a better way to use her. I just think that using a fluffier brush, this is the NARS Laguna bronzing cream. I use her all the time. I'm honestly shocked that I haven't used more than this, but I like to use her with a fluffy powder brush. This is my favorite brush to use her with. Oh my God, no, no, she's fine. Okay. I like the It Cosmetics Unstoppable Powder Rush. Just go in here. I just go like this. And she blends out in 2.2 seconds. It leaves the most beautiful bronzed shade for me. I just, it looks so good. I like it with a fluffier brush like this because looking at this, I would normally pair it with something a bit more denser like my Yensa brush. So can you see the difference between these two? This is a much denser brush and this is a much fluffier brush. Same shape though, but this lays down too much pigmentation. It takes like an extra minute to blend. Whereas this, fluffy brush like I dip it in and then I pat it in and it takes like no time I love this product it's so beautiful I really like the color I like how quickly it blends it can be a pain in the butt if you use it with too dense of a brush I did use it with a sponge and it looked good too. So you really can't go wrong. A friendly reminder, if you love a beauty blender, stock up on a beauty blender because those are like $20 sponges. Still shocking to me that it's a $20 sponge. It's just
it's shocking. In terms of cream blushes, mm. I love Tower 28. You know I love Tower 28. I have three shades here. It's kind of a toss up. I love each and every one of the shades a lot, but now that I'm wearing a lot of blue, this one has been the one that I've been gravitating towards the most. Rush Hour, and it is this beautiful peach shade. They go on really well with a denser brush like this or the Yensa one that I just showed you. And a little goes a very long way. They are super, super pigmented. The first time that I tried these, I like dug into it and then I put it on and was like, Oh no, but look at that. It is such a beautiful color. They're juicy. They have a gel formula. They last all day on the skin. This was the first one that I bought. Oh my God, I'm like embarrassed to show you this, but we keep it real here. Look at this one. This is in the shade Happy Hour. Now this matches the actual flush of my skin. So it looks the most natural on me. And then this one we've tried so many times together and I have showed you, it's not as dark. Okay, it's not as dark as this. I will link a video up here where I show you guys, you know, I did my makeup with it. I think it was like a spring makeup. I use this color in a spring makeup routine, okay? And this is in the shade After Hours. It's beautiful. They're all beautiful. While we're on the topic of blush though, one blush that I would not recommend because I just feel like you get gypped. Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. Okay, I love this color. I hate this packaging and I didn't close it and I always forget to close it. The color is stunning. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. Like look, look at that. If that doesn't scream spring, summer, I don't know what does. Let's just put a little bit of her on. Why not? This is just like this color that I'm wearing, but like on steroids. So this is a cream formula, but it is matte. It doesn't leave your cheek as juicy as Tower 28 does. So if you're someone that has oily skin and you like the Tower 28 color that I just used, I would get this stupid Pillow Talk one. But the reason why I say that it's stupid, too much product comes out and you end up either wasting a ton of product or if you're me, you end up putting way too much blush on. Now the color, like I said, is st stimply, stimply stunning. It's stimply stunning. You've been forewarned. I just don't think that you need it. My powder of choice has been for a really long time the Givenchy Prison Libre. I don't know if I will ever go through this. I love this for under my eyes. I'm a little high maintenance. I have two powders here just because I had to mention that I changed my mind. I really love how this like really blurs my under eye. I will show you. It just, it looks so good underneath the eyes. Do you not agree? If you don't agree, I, I think you're crazy. I enjoy putting it on with a puff. That's how I like to set my under eyes. It's just my preference. I find that it helps to make the under eye skin look as smooth as possible. So this eye, as opposed to this eye, I really love this powder. My camera overheated because I've been talking for what feels like a lifetime. And so I took the opportunity to fill my brows in and I'm gonna tell you my two favorite brow products that you can get at Sephora. I can't find anything better than the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, which honestly pisses me off because the spoolie constantly, I've owned like seven of these. The spoolie comes off every single time. So I sit here with a bajillion things to do my brows simply because I don't have a spoolie. I'm in the shade dark brown. I just find like this is the quickest thing to fill my brows in. And then my favorite brow gel at Sephora, Merit Brow Pomade. This is in the shade brown. This has serum in it to help your brows grow. It does tint them a little bit. So on days where I'm feeling lazy, I won't fill them in with a pencil. I will just go in with this. It helps to nourish your hair so that they grow longer. Did I finish saying what I was saying about this? I don't think I finished saying what I was saying. I don't love this underneath my eyes. I like this to set the rest of my face. I basically set the center of my face and around my mouth because this adds a little bit of coverage, which is perfect, especially on the days where are most days I don't wear a foundation. So it just gives a bit of extra coverage when I don't really want to use coverage in terms of a foundation or too much concealer. I hope that makes sense, but it does a really nice job of blurring the face. I just don't like this underneath my eyes. I find that it accentuates my fine lines. If I have texture, I have dry skin on my eyes. It will accentuate that as well. So so I use this for my face and I use Givenchy for my under eyes and my face. I kind of put Givenchy everywhere and then throw this on top of my face, not my under eyes. I don't think you need this. However, I do really like this. I like taking this on trips. I just find that it's convenient. You have a multitude of steps in your makeup routine. When Mike and I go and we travel, I'm just gonna take this because it has a bronzer. It has two highlighters, a golden tone and a light pink tone. And then it has an array of blushes. It's nice to get ready when you're traveling. It's a big mirror. I also got the brush 
that is super cute an hour you know i love an hourglass brush but i will take this hop into the powder bronzer and kind of just add a little bit more warmth to my face which lord jesus knows i could use as much warmth as i can get they're baked powders so they give a little bit of that softness to the skin it adds kind of like a veil these are called ambient lighting palettes this is the lighting edit unlocked but they are like dim light palettes they help to offer a softness to the skin and i find that these powders last on your face all day long they're very natural looking these are very expensive like this is like 80 dollars, i think so again this is a product that is worth it during the sale because it is expensive so you get a decent amount of money off as much as i love the bronzing powder in this palette my forever day one og bronzing powder that I will love and adore till the end of time is the NARS Laguna powder. I've had this for a lifetime. Another hourglass brush that you can get during the sale. Totally worth it. I just like love this bronzing powder and it does a lot in 2.2 seconds. You see the difference? It's just a good shade. It's a good bronze shade. And for someone like me who is very fair and I need to fake it till I make it, it just does a lot in the matter of seconds. I always say to those of you who are looking for a bronzer, this is the best bronzer on the market and I don't stray away from her. I don't have, and I definitely need to purchase in the sale. This is the portion of my makeup where I would spray my face and I would use the Charlotte Tilbury, her flawless setting powder, setting mist, setting mist, the spray, you know? I don't love that for every day, but it is instrumental when I am on vacation, especially in warmer locations, because it kind of just cements everything into your skin. If you need your makeup to last all day long, when I'm on vacation, you know, I wake up, I work out, and I have my makeup on by like 9 a.m., 10 a.m., and then I wear that makeup all throughout the day into the night, so it is detrimental for me to have that and with the spring and summer months coming where our makeup kind of moves around more i highly recommend it and if you like it stock up on it because it is expensive but you guys know i love my morphe continuous setting spray if i had to pick one spray through and through it is my favorite setting spray and that you cannot get at sephora so for mascara i have two here that i would recommend i just think that like the lancome lashy doll is the best mascara ever i don't know why i ever strayed away from her i love the wand it's like a spiky wand i like that it's curved so i can really get in there and lift the lash is. In second place, I would say, is the Gucci mascara. It's a heavy mascara, so not really great for traveling. I like a more natural lash. Everybody is different. I like a natural, wispier lash that looks like my lash, but better. So these are the two wands. Again, this is Lancome Lashy Doll, and this is Gucci. I like them both, but I like the Lancome one better. So that is what I'm going to put on very quickly, and I'm not going to put a lot on. I don't have any eyeshadows to mention to you. Every time we go over the Sephora sale, <laughs> I never have any, but I love NARS mascara. Oh, I love, what am I saying? I love NARS eyeshadows, so I would recommend getting NARS shadows while you can. If NARS comes out with a limited edition eyeshadow palette and you're curious about it, just buy it. Don't doubt me. If there's a NARS palette that you want, buy it during the Sephora sale. Okay, for lips. I have quite a lot of lip products, which are you surprised? I don't think that you are, but I have a nice little round out. I recently bought this. I do really like this color, although I do like Iconic Nude better, but this is Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in Icon Baby. This is the newer one that she came out with. I do like this shade. It looks really good with the blues that I've been rocking lately, so it's very natural on me. Very natural color. I love Charlotte's colors. I say this all the time. I don't love the formula. I like a stiffer lip liner. So if you are someone that is familiar with makeup, which I'm gonna assume that you are because you are watching this video, my personal preference is MAC at Sephora in terms of formulation. My personal preference is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I really think that Charlotte like kills it when it comes to colors. So that is why. I always go back to her, but this is a really good color for me. This is new. This is in Charlotte's, I don't know what formula this is, but this is in the shade Candy Chic. Again, beautiful with the blue. It's beautiful with the blue. Oh, I love this color. It's so good. 
It's very cushy, it's very comfortable. I bought a ton of her lipsticks and I did a video on them. I will link that video here. I recommend every single one. I bought a lot of reds. I've been deep in the red lipstick wearing. I'm trying to become a red lipstick woman, okay? It is a journey that I am on. Let's throw a little bit of this in the middle. I love this. This is the NARS in the Afterglow Sensual Shine Lipstick in the shade Breathless. It's just a really juicy, juicy. It's a juicy color. And it is more on the peachy side. It's super hydrating. Charlotte is very comfortable, but this is a more hydrating lip. Honorable mentions, I love this lipstick. It is the most versatile lipstick I've ever owned. This is Gucci in the shade Sally Soft Honey. And I love her. The only thing I don't love about her is how scented she is, but love the color. It is a very versatile peachy pink. I love how small it is. Like, look at that. It's a small little bullet. I've talked about her quite a few times, but I wanted to mention her again because I have not featured her recently on my channel, but I'm still loving it adoring her and she is expensive. So you can go ahead and get her during the sale. I also really love the Dior lip oil. However, if you watched my video on my drugstore lip oils, I would say save your coin. But if you've been thinking about it, very hydrating, very comfortable, plumps the lips. This is in the shade Rosewood. Why spend so much money when you can go to Walgreens and get the e.l.f. Are they e.l.f.? I think it's NYX Fat Lip Oils and then e.l.f. came out with a lip oil that is also really beautiful. But these are very jutsy, adds glass, like a sheen, a glass sheen to the lips. If you've been thinking about it, now's the time to get it. I wanna apologize to this lipstick because I have been wearing her so much lately. I have two shades. I have the shade 150 and I have the shade 44 Rouge Volupt Shine lipsticks. They are very scented. I hate the scent of them. I am someone where scent irritates me. It is a new thing in my life um, in recent years. I just find that I'm very sensitive to smells. It gives me a headache and it sometimes make me, makes me nauseous. And I, and I feel it like in my jaw. I don't know. So I don't like the scent of this. If you are scent sensitive like I am, do not recommend these. I have been wearing these nonstop. This is in the shade 150. 44 is my favorite color of the two that I own, but here is the shade right here. It's just a really cushy lipstick. It's not a lipstick that you need to perfect. It can go on a little messy and not make you look like a slob. And I wanna apologize because in a recent video, I said that I would get rid of these, but I've been wearing them every day and I like that they hydrate my lips. You know, I wear them all day and it's not like when I take them off at the end of the day, my lips are bright red and cracked and chapped. They're not, they're nice and they're nourished. And I didn't know what I was saying. Not as intense as a lipstick, but not as like laid back as a gloss. It's really beautiful somewhere in the middle and I really love these and I want more. So in terms of the things that are in my cart, I don't know if I'm gonna buy each and every one of them. Honestly, I'm hoping to dwindle this down because I have 16 items in my basket. So Laneige, I love Laneige moisturizer. It's really good, especially for those of us with sensitive skin. I've used quite a few of like their little travel to go guys and I've loved each and every one. Here's one right here, the Laneige Waterbank Moisture Cream. I saw this bouncy and firm radiance boosting sleeping mask. I am intrigued. I like that it is this beautiful kind of like light pink, baby pink. The packaging has me sold. I am running low on all of my nighttime creams. I feel like I just keep repurchasing the same ones over and over again, which I do think that if you find something that works for you in terms of skincare, like stick to it. I don't think you need to like swap out your skincare. Another skincare product that I want to try because I am running low on my retinol. Caudalie Reverse, re, reser, I don't know how you say that. Resveratrol, resveratrol, okay? I don't know. Lift Instant Firming Retinol Alternative Serum. It is $84. So I think that this is an item where if you've been thinking about it, you should get it during the sale, but it's good for anti-aging, it's hydrating, it's vegan, good for loss of firmness, and it has hyaluronic acid. Another skincare related item. I love the Shiseido Super Soft Facial Cottons. They're just like facial squares. You get 165 of them for $16 full price. I currently have them in my bathroom, but I'm too lazy to go get them. Never do I feel like I get any like cotton remnants stuck to my face when using them. I use them for everything. Super Goop. I have two things
things in here. I'm gonna narrow it down to one of them, but with all the travel coming up that Mike and I have, I need SPF. I need some travel size ones. So this one is the Everyday SPF Faves. You get a setting spray with SPF 40 in it. That sounds interesting. There's a glow screen with SPF 40, an unseen sunscreen with SPF 40, and then a glow stick with SPF 50. And then another one that I have in my basket, All Day Glow SPF Set. They both have the glow screen and they both have the glow stick. So they're not very different. <laughs> they're not very different at all. But this one also has a glow oil, which how much, I could use a glow oil with SPF 50. I don't know. I just feel like with miniature sizes, you can't go wrong. I feel like they'll be good to just throw in the bag. I can have two glow screens, two sticks in case Mike wants a stick. I don't know, it could be good, let's see. Like I said, I really wanna try more of the Yves Saint Laurent lipsticks. Currently I have the Candy Glaze Lip Gloss Stick number 15, which is called Showcasing Nude. It's just a really pretty color, I like it. It's like vibey, more cool toned, which I like. I find like a lot of my lipsticks are more warm tone and I'm a neutral undertone so I can go either way. But I've heard that the Candy Glaze ones are even more hydrating. I've been throwing lipsticks in my basket like I own none, which we all know I have quite the opposite. I have the Armani Lip Power Long Lasting Lipstick. I just really like the shape of this lipstick, I don't know. It looks very intriguing. I like this color. I have, what color is this? 109 Intimate. It's a medium beige rose. I've had this in my loves for a really long time. So I kind of was just going through my loves section in the app and plopping things in my basket that I don't necessarily need. But you know, I feel like every time these sales roll around, like what do I need? I need to pump the brakes is what I need to do. Another lip product. I have three of these damn NARS lip balms. I'm not buying all three. The shade Voyeur, a warm brown. I just feel like that warm brown is so pretty and would look so good when I have a bit of a tan. I don't know. Just a thought. Just a thought. I also have this red shade, Turbo. It's not really red. It's like a kissed berry look. It kind of gives me the vibe of like a lip stain. I really like that color. I feel like that would be good all year round, not just when your girl has a tan. I'm really not doing a good job of swaying myself away from one of these colors. And then orgasm. Oh, that's like a good everyday pink. I don't know. Do I need that? I think out of all of them, orgasm is the least exciting. I think I will take that one out of my cart. I also have a Jis Jisoo. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Ultra hydrating hair hero set. Mike and I are traveling. We're all also going to be going to and from the beach house. So I just find that they're helpful to have. It has a mask that deeply conditions and softens the hair. It has a leave-in conditioner that detangles and fights frizz. And it has a hair oil with, which boosts shine and hydrates. I just think this is a really cute little travel set and I've never tried this brand. So I found it to be intriguing. I missed another damn lip product that I have in here. Hourglass Phantom Volumizing Glossy Lip Balm. I chose the shade Sense Peachy Beige. That is a really pretty color, but I don't know if I need this. I don't know if I need that. Also, I have the Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Effortless Bronze Stick. I chose this shade Happy Soul. I'm running out of my OG Contour Stick. I'm also running out of my Ardell Glam Touring Stick, which I don't think that they make anymore. And when it comes to bronzing, cream bronzing. I love the NARS one that I mentioned today, but I like a stick. It's just like quicker. You draw it on the face, one, two, three, go. I'm kind of like a one, two, three, go girl to begin with, with my makeup, especially recently, but in the summer, it's like even more so. This looks interesting. I've never tried Rare Beauty. Um, and so I want to try it. I want to be one of the rare beauty loving girlies because I love Selena Gomez. So the Shiseido Revital Essence Skin Glow Foundation with SPF 30. I've heard so many good things. And I like a foundation that has SPF in it. I love their skincare products, so I feel like why wouldn't I love their foundation? I've heard it's hydrating. I've heard it's skin-like. Makeup by Mario, Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. Every time I go to Sephora, it's sold out. So again, it kind of has that I can't have you, like stop playing hard to get with me vibes, which is why I want it. Those are all of the 16 items that I need to dwindle down because I don't need to buy that many things. Let me know down below in the comment section, what are you buying during the sale? Did I sway you into buying something? Did I deter you from buying something. I would love to know if there is a product that you are interested in, but I didn't mention it. Leave it down below in the comments. I'll let you know if I tried it or not. I will also leave some Sephora VIB sale recommendation videos at the end of this video if you want to dig deep into some other products 
that I have recommended in the past. You've been forewarned though. I am someone where I change my mind often. A lot of these products that I mentioned today, I mentioned to you that I didn't like them, I did like them, that I didn't like them. I change my mind often, my preferences change. I also find that as I get older, you know, I try new things every year. So my standard kind of gets higher and higher and higher. Any questions, comments, concerns? Is there something that you think I need to try? Leave it down below. But I would really like to hear what is it that you have your eyes on? Are we talking like makeup, skincare, hair? I buy a lot of my hair stuff from Ulta. I like a lot of Paul Mitchell, that kind of stuff. So if you want a hair care, information. I will link a video here of all of my hair care things, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for spending this very long winded time with me. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a little blue heart so I know that you watched until the end. I love you guys so much. If you're not yet subscribed, think about subscribing. I think you and I would have a good time and click the bell button next to subscribe. This way you get a notification every time a new video goes live. I have a lot of travel vlogs coming up and if you like them, then ring the bell so you get a little noty. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a wonderful time as always, and I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.